So Overwatch is a game with a lot of uniquely designed heroes, and I think a lot of them were overall really well made. Now as far as actual, you know, artistic design, I think all of them are great, but as far as actual gameplay, I think some of them fit into the game and fit into the roles a little bit better than others, and today I'll be talking about what I feel like is possibly the worst designed heroes in Overwatch, and the heroes that, yeah, the developer team is having a big problem balancing out, and a big problem making them actually fit into the game and have a lot of fun in the game, like the majority of the other heroes. Now with that all said though guys, let's begin right here on the first hero that I think wasn't designed that well. And that hero is Symmetra. Now, I think you can kind of tell that Symmetra wasn't a very good designed hero as far as gameplay goes by just looking at how many reworks she's gotten so far. They didn't really know what they wanted to do with Symmetra, and I think that's kind of how it went. Uh, they first off made so that she was a support, but didn't have way too many ways to support people. She could give people shields, but sometimes it wasn't that good, and sometimes it was depending on the meta. She did a lot of damage, and that's kind of it. She had a teleporter her kit doesn't really fit into anything, and I think that's the real big problem with Symmetra. She was kind of supporty, but also kind of damage dealy, and just with the current heroes, when she came out, it didn't work, and I think that was a really big problem about this character. Another big problem about this character is that even after they started to rework her, they still didn't really know what to do with her. Let's give her a shield that she can throw forward, or let's make so that she can make a shield gen instead of giving people on her team, you know, shield all the time. Okay ideas, but again, I don't really feel like they knew what they were going for, especially still sticking her in the support category. And I think we can really say that she didn't fit support <laughs> that well at all. And we can especially say this now that they have moved Symmetra into the DPS category with her new rework, which I think makes a lot more sense and i think that while she was really badly designed in the past right now i think she's making more sense uh, right now she seems more like a character that you'll be playing on defense that will have a pretty good first defensive push and will have a pretty good teleporter a decent ult that can block a lot of damage and i think she's kind of falling into a more developed character still i, I think it's kind of hard to tell exactly what she's supposed to be doing which i, I still don't find her to be the best designed hero but with all these reworks, I think she has gotten better and better. Now, another hero that is kind of similar to Symmetra is Bastion, and Bastion has gotten a lot of reworks. And I feel like Bastion's kind of at a state where he's kind of good sometimes, um, and if people don't know how to play against you, you know, he can work in a certain metas, you know, it, it kind of works. But I feel like Bastion is in a lot of a lot of times a uh, worse place than Torb or Symmetra because he doesn't really have a job right now. A uh, Torb or Symmetra can play first point defense and sometimes do well in that depending on the meta. Bastion a lot of times doesn't matter what meta it is unless it is Bastion meta. Uh, he hasn't really been able to do anything. He can't really defend way too much on first point because people can just dive him too easily with dive comp. Uh, sometimes you can play offense on pirate ship but if that's not very good right now he can't really play offense and he's just so based off the fact that you know he hunkers down and he shields himself doesn't shield himself that he hunkers down and he starts shooting people in the sentry form that i think that they kind of forgot about giving bastion anything else in his kit essentially that is his kit and i feel like it doesn't really work yet i personally believe that the sentry form either needs some change in itself or bastion's recon form as i said in an earlier video needs some sort of change in that way. I think that they can make the sentry maybe a little bit better for defense. I don't know, make so it can move around very slowly or something like that. And then they can make so that on offense, the sentry form you don't even barely use. You mainly go for the recon form and try to play it off like that. So he has a very offensively based mode and a very defensively based mode. Uh, right now, Bastion's just kind of in a state where sentry form is kind of good and the recon form has almost no use compared to the other DPS, which I know it would be kind of hard to balance, making both those forms really good but i feel like he definitely is a hero that needs that and if they could pull it off it would make his kit so much better and so much more fun to play and honestly yeah fit into the game a lot more now i'm gonna be going off to some heroes right here that i'm gonna say maybe some people don't believe are way too badly balanced or you know they actually are pretty decently balanced pretty close to 50 percent win rates but i feel like they could use more and i feel like they could be more and you know they would probably need nerfs in certain parts of their kits to become more um but yeah you'll kind of get what i'm saying as i start to go on and the first thing i want to talk about that i think isn't that great design is reaper and don't don't get me wrong i love reaper but i feel like his kit could just be something more i feel like his kit just really isn't anything special and that's that's kind of too bad uh he's kind of a flanker 
with his E, the Shadow Step, but not really. That Honestly, you can't really flank with it way too much. Uh, he can kind of play in the front line, but in a lot of cases, you might even just want to play a tank or a Brigida or something instead of him. So, I mean, it's not terrible, but it's not great either, and he's not even, like, the best there. Uh, you can kind of decide to do a lot of stuff with him, and I feel like that's kind of how it goes with Reaper. He's alright in a lot of situations, but I feel like he's not one of those characters that, you know, you always want to pick him in this one situation. I don't really feel like he has that. And moreover, I don't feel like Reaper is, you know, the most interesting character in the game. I don't really feel like he has way too much because a lot of other characters kind of have what he has. Um, a lot of people have mobility that could be used in a similar way to a Shadow Step. A lot of people have a invisibility, invisibility type of mode, I'm looking at Mora compared to uh, Reaper. And a lot of people have a AoE damaging ult. All that Reaper really has is a shotguns, which other characters also have, aren't quite as consistent, but again, very similar. Now, the one thing that Reaper does have that I did like that they added was the fact that he can now, a long time ago, um, do damage and then heal off of it. I think that was a really great idea. But I feel like it also took away from the real character of Reaper. It made so that you know, he wasn't reaping souls anymore, he's just kind of life stealing. And I wish what they would do with Reaper to make a design just feel better is make so that either the heals are better and his kit is more designed off heals, kind of like a vampire type kit, and maybe makes his damage work a little bit differently or his range work a little bit differently and make him really focus on that. Or on the other hand, I really think he could work as a somewhat berserker type character, where the longer you're in a fight, the more damage you're going to do, maybe you start shooting faster, maybe you reload faster, maybe you do a little bit more damage while you're healing, or maybe just increase your healing the longer you're in a fight. I feel like he could be the character that, you know, he already yells a lot, <laughs> he could be the character that can essentially be the berserker type class, and that would give him something unique about him. Now maybe they're saving this for somebody else, but I feel like Reaper right now could use something like that to make him a little bit better. And right now, nobody really is even playing him. Nobody really is enjoying his kit. He has like a 0.3% play rate in every single rank. And yeah, I think something interesting to be added to his kit would make so that he would be so much better of a designed hero. And that's why I don't think he's that great. I mean, he's not terrible, I guess, but he just really doesn't have anything right now. Now, another character that I feel like just isn't designed that great is Sombra. And I feel like overall Sombra has a really cool design, but it just hasn't been pulled off way too great. Um, now, she has been debatably well or badly balanced, you know, depends on who you're talking to. But I feel like Sombra is a character that, you know, should either be focusing on getting hacks more often or on getting assassinations. And right now what they have Sombra doing feels really awkward because she's not really a close range hero that's supposed to get behind the enemies and kill them, but she's also not really a hero that's supposed to be spamming hacks all the time. She's kind of between the two, which I think doesn't feel that great to play in a lot of situations. And honestly, I wish that they made so that maybe she does more damage up close, but she had less range, and became a closer range hit scan type of character, similar-ish to Tracer, which they probably wouldn't do, but, you know, make her Uzi act more like an actual Uzi, other than, you know, what it is, which is essentially just a Bastion gun or a Soldier 76 gun. Or on the other hand, again, make so that her hacks are a more integral part of her kit. As I said in an earlier video, maybe make so that her hacks makes you do bonus damage to somebody. Maybe make so that you make so they lose all their shield or so that this or that happens, so that they can't get heals. Something should be more in her kit, I feel. And I feel like her kit is a really good start, but could get something else added to make her feel like a fully developed character. Either A, again, more like an assassin type character, which she kind of felt like, or B, more of a hacker type character, which is, I feel like was the main purpose of her kit even existing. Right now, though, it feels too much in the middle, and I think for the average player like me, it would be awesome to have something else added to this kit to make it just feel a little bit better as far as design goes. And here we are with the hero that I personally believe is the worst designed hero in Overwatch, and that is McCree. And McCree, don't get me wrong, I love McCree. I think he's overall been pretty good for a while, and you know, you can play him, you can pick him up. He is a hero that is extremely dependent on skill, which is awesome. And you know, not too many gripes about McCree, honestly. But what I do have a gripe in is the fact that all of his abilities are just so lame. <laughs> I think that's the only way to put it. And he doesn't really have any uniqueness about him again. And I guess he doesn't not have any uniqueness, he just could have more. I think that is what I'm trying to say. McCree has so much potential being this cowboy, being this duelist, 
But right now, he, again, in kind of similar to Sombra, just feels like he's trying to do too many things. Uh, he has a decent amount of range, and he has a decent amount of shots. Uh, he has an ultimate that's really good at far range. But then on the other hand, he has Fan the Hammer, which is only good at close range. He has Flashbang, which is only good at close range. And he has his Shift, which makes him roll, which is not good anywhere, <laughs> really. And I feel like, again, this is a hero where they should just kind of decide what they want to do with McCree. Do they want to make him a close range duelist? Personally, that's what I would like more. Maybe not close range, but a mid range duelist. Because that's what I think about <laughs> when I think of a cowboy. Maybe make so that his flashbang can be more effective at a slightly longer range, but maybe still make it effective at close range. You could make so that you have to press E a second time to make it explode. Maybe make the hitbox bigger so that it can be bigger or more effective at a longer range. Maybe make so that his fan the hammer is actually useful and does a lot of damage to tanks again. Maybe not a ton of damage to tanks, but a decent amount, or so that it could go through armor or something. Uh, I feel like they could make him feel, again, more like a close range damage dealer. And I feel like, especially McCree, probably does need a rework um, to make him, again, closer or further range. His kit is just too far one way or the other. And I think especially his ultimate, that, while it can be okay, just isn't that fun to use. And I think that's, in the end, all I have to say about McCree. His kit, as far as, you know, pointing and shooting at people, that's fun. But the rest of his kit could use a lot more charm and could use a lot more flair. And he really feels like one of those characters that was just the first release character. And, yeah, I feel like they definitely could switch him up a little bit, add something to him. And I would really love that about McCree because I feel like he has, again, so much potential, but so much of it is wasted. And I would love for that to come to fruition and I would love for him to finally become something because as we've seen in the past he's just kind of been all over the place he's been a sniper he's been a one inch away from your duelist he's been a mid-range character and right now he's just kind of everything jumbled together i would like something different from mccree and you know there we go with that that's my opinion on the hero that i feel like isn't that well designed right now at all and even though he is decently balanced that doesn't mean that he's the most fun character and mainly that doesn't mean that the maximum potential out of his kit is coming out but there you guys go, that's just my own personal opinion about the heroes that I feel like aren't that well designed in right now or in the past of Overwatch and kind of what I'd like to happen to them in the future. Now, if you have any other heroes that you'd like me to talk about or any other heroes that you feel like could have probably been designed a little better or um, could be changed at this point, tell me that down in the comment section down below because I would really like to hear that. Anyways, as always guys, though, thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to leave a like, comment down below what you want me to talk about next. Or hit the subscribe button to see more videos like this in the future. And as always, guys, though, thank you all for watching and have a wonderful day.